In this sales robot review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software sales robot. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for sales robot. Sales robot is a software where you can automate personalized outreach campaigns to generate more leads via LinkedIn and email. So this is what you should see once you're first signed into your account or even logging in again. I'm gonna quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature, seeing what we can actually do within this software and how it works overall. So straight off the bat, I'm gonna go through the features of this main dashboard page right now. So going up to the top left-hand corner, we have the sales robot logo, which is actually clickable like most softwares, which is a good feature that most softwares have these days. So you can easily access the main page or any other pages that it actually takes you to once you click the logo. Right below that, we then have this navigation bar on the left hand side, and this includes the dashboard, campaigns, inbox, accounts, settings, advanced, and refer and earn. Down in the bottom left, we have a little help chat if you wanna go ahead and click on that and get help within the software. So this left hand section again is a navigation bar, and you can go ahead and go on this to navigate through the software and all of its features that are featured within the software. To the right of that, we then have the main pages or the main page of where you actually click on each navigation. So if we go to the dashboard page, we now have this dashboard page on the main area. So I'm gonna quickly go through this dashboard page right now. So up in the top left-hand corner, we actually have the getting started guide. And this is if you were getting started with the software like I am. So for any beginners, you'd wanna go ahead and actually go through that and it just pretty much takes you through a process of getting started with the software, like adding your LinkedIn account, creating a campaign, starting it, and then configuring your settings. It's a pretty cool feature that it actually helps any beginners out, so no beginners are lost and actually can understand the software like professionals would. Now we have the dashboard area where we have a centralized dashboard. We have a performance report, location insights, prospect insights, and that's the three sections. On the performance report, we have the total campaigns and active campaigns, and all of these analytics here. Prospects reached and remaining, analytics there, and then just other analytics like your 30 days and your connection rate, and any replies and response rate. So again, these are just analytics and data that comes through the software, and it all lands right here on the dashboard, so whenever you log in, you can go ahead and see it straight off the bat. But because we don't have anyone coming through or any data coming through into the software, all of ours are zero for now. But once you get going and actually connect it to your LinkedIn page and create campaigns, then it should start coming through as easy as this. So as we move on through the dashboard page, you can see we then have a date range, a little like calendar or something like that, where you can actually go ahead and see the dates of your campaign. Down here, we have the dates and then what is connected, connection requests, replied, follow-ups, in-mails, group messages, event messages, and connection failures. So we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, yesterday, today, and total. So those are the, again, last seven days, as you can see right here. And again, you can go ahead and see what your campaigns are actually doing within the data of the dashboard. You can flick back and forth with these arrows to what has actually happened within your software time. And you can go ahead and research that more. Down here on about time, we actually have the timeline section. And you can go ahead and actually see the timeline section in this little graph here. Pretty cool feature. I wouldn't know if I'd use that myself. But for any professionals, they might use this to actually see your timeline. You can actually show your campaign division to the right of that. See which week or month it is. And then also download the chart. And finally, we have your lead tags. You can go ahead and see your lead tags, total chats, tagged responses, lead generating and your conversion rate and that's it for the dashboard page so scrolling back up onto the top we can then see again that is pretty much the dashboard page and what we're going to go ahead and do now is actually create a campaign to see if we can go ahead and actually create some sort of data so we're going to go back to the navigation bar on the left hand side and click campaigns so right now it says access to this page is blocked add a linkedin account first so we want to go back and then we want to go ahead and actually add a linkedin account like the software tells us to actually go ahead and get started. So now that I've went ahead and actually added my LinkedIn, or my personal LinkedIn, this is what you'd see once you actually land on the campaign section. You have your campaigns and your prospects, and you can actually go ahead and search your campaign by name once you've actually created them. And this is where your campaigns would show once you've created them. You'd have the name, status, source, campaign progress, action count, performance, and the options. Right here is where you have your campaign creation area and you can go ahead and actually have safe mode on if you want to and right here is where you create your campaign. On the prospect section 
this is where you have your prospects, you have your total, premium profiles, and email available. You have the full name, campaign, blacklisted, free in-mail, title, company step, last activity, and their LinkedIn email. This is where you'd have your prospects again, like I just said, and they would all show up here once your campaign is running. So now I'm gonna go ahead and actually click create campaign. And once you click on it, it opens up this little section that says, what would you like to call this campaign? And you can go ahead and actually name the campaign whatever you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name this campaign reviews for the sake of this review, and then click continue. So then you can go ahead and actually add LinkedIn profiles to the campaign. And it says you can import from CSV, add profiles from CSV file to campaign via book upload. You can add from sales nav search and add from LinkedIn search. So you can go ahead and actually add any one of these or even do an advanced import if you want to. But we're going to go ahead and stick on the basic import. So we're going to add from a sales navigation. So on this section, you want to go ahead and actually add a word or LinkedIn search link. So let's just say we type in business. And then you can go ahead and configure the options for that. So you can send as in mail instead of connection requests if it's free. Premium LinkedIn accounts only. You can choose if you want to only send it to them. Premium LinkedIn accounts. Collect contact info. Skip if in other campaigns. Enrich data. And then send a direct message from group. You can go ahead and see the connection levels as well from first to second to third. And once you're happy with the settings you've configured, you can go ahead and click continue. Obviously, I didn't actually type in a valid URL. But obviously you guys would then go ahead and do that and carry on to create your campaign so all the way back to the campaign section it would then go ahead and actually create your sequence and then you just go ahead and start your campaign and you would have to do that with all your own information i can't do that because i don't want to actually publicly show the information so next i'm going to go on to the inbox section now on the left hand side navigation bar on the inbox section this is where you go ahead and actually have an inbox and message people pretty much just like an email and it's a pretty cool feature that's included within this software. So you can go ahead and choose whether you want to show prospects only, or you can go ahead and just choose to show everyone. So this is where you'd search your inbox. You can actually do the current LinkedIn account that you have connected or changed it. You have all your campaigns there, and then more filters here showing prospects only, awaiting reply, pause sequences, mark as read, show failed, and reply sequence enabled. So this is where their profiles Full name, status, and tags would all come up once the data and analytics are running through. And then to the right, you would have your messaging section, kind of like an email, where you can go ahead and type your message and message people through the inbox section. And that's pretty much it for that section. Now we are on the account section on this left-hand side navigation. And this is where your accounts would come up once you are actually added them to your sales robot software. So you want to go ahead and go up here and click add a LinkedIn account. And here you would type in the LinkedIn email ID LinkedIn password, use built-in proxy, and select the proxy location. Then once you've done that, you click add account, and it does take a few minutes to load, but then your account is added, and you should see it here on this main page. And that's pretty much it for this section. It does take a few minutes, which is a downside. It takes kind of a while, but once it's loaded, it should be fine and working. Next, on the settings, you can also change any configurations, integrations, and admin settings. And on the advanced section, you can have any templates and automations. So on the templates, you can go ahead and actually create a template up here. And then you can also see the total and the my templates. You can see the name, description, created by, created on, and sequence and actions. All of the, again, the data that would be here. So once you click create template, it says you can actually create a sequence, create from scratch, or even from another template. So if we click from template, it shows you their proven templates. And you can go ahead and go through these and see which one suits you. So we're going to go ahead and click on a random one, let's say powerful AI follow-up template. And it now brings up this huge page where you can go ahead and see the follow-up templates. So it gives you different steps, step one and step two and step three and four. And you can go ahead and follow these with the template and actually use it to go ahead and actually create a well-rounded follow-up email. So you can edit what is in here using this edit button or even add and delete the variant. And then step two, you can do the same with editing the different lines of text and the messages add or delete it and then same with step three and four once you're happy with it you can go ahead and click save template or even start over if you wish to do so and that's pretty much it for this software and there you go that is it for the sales robot software review overall i think it's a really great software and there's a couple of features that i personally like i personally like how simplistic and easy it is to use i like how beginners can go ahead and follow the starting guide and eventually become professionals within this software i also like how you can go ahead and have an inbox 
and pretty much an easy campaign section and the templates to go ahead and help you with emailing other clients or any people through your LinkedIn account. A feature I don't like is how long it actually takes to add your LinkedIn account. I'd say that it does take a couple of minutes, which is kind of long, but again, it's not a huge deal. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. Anyone who needs a LinkedIn sales kind of software, this is probably the best one to do that. The campaigns are easy and professional and you can go ahead and use it within your team. Would I use it myself? Yes, I absolutely would. This software is really great for LinkedIn campaigns and I would use it myself. Overall, I think it's a great software. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.